Hi, Assalamualaikum and very good morning to my uh, classmate. Uh, and then, before I start, I want to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Fakhru Shahmi bin Abdul Rahman. Uh, and then, uh, I want to uh, introduce my teammate. Okay, first, uh, Xiao Wen Kiong. Uh, handsome, kan? Handsome. And then Shahe, Shahro Shahe bin MD Rozi, Amirul Nizam, and Haris Rosli, and my beloved lecturer, Dr. Guzaini. Yeah. So, today, I want to uh, share with you what I want to do. Okay. So, what I want to do. My, my team wants to do a cordless air blower. Do you know cordless air blower? If you don't know, you see this video. Okay, a cordless air blower is a tool used to clear debris and dry surface. It is powered by a rechargeable battery, allowing for greater mobility and flexibility in use as there is no need for a power cut. So the main idea is to provide a portable and convenient tool for tasks such as clearing debris, inflating objects, and drying wet surface by using a battery to power the third instead of the car. Okay? Okay, this is my part. What is a benefit of air blower? You can see beside me. First, cordless leaf blower are lightweight and easy to carry because it has a handle to carry their air blower. Second, less noisy, more environment friendly, are uh, required less maintenance. Third, cordless air blower can be used in a place where power outlet are not ready available such as outdoor space or in a remote location. Okay, next, in the slide, I will explain about IDE 60AK. The IDE 60AK software is designed to simply the process of developing software for the 60AK family of processor and to make it more accessible to program who are not expert in assembly language. That's all from me. Thank you. So it's my turn now to discuss the flowchart of the cordless air blower. The first is the round figure. It start the beginning of the flowchart. When the cordless air blower is on, it will wait for the user to choose the speed. When the user choose speed 1, the 7 segment display output will display as speed 1. When the user choose speed 2, the 7 segment display output will display speed 2. When the user choose speed 3, the 7 segment display output will display as speed 3. When the push button is pressed, the process will end. Hi, my name is Muhammad Amirul Nizam and today I'm going to share with you guys the program that we wrote for the leaf blower using easy 68k editor assembler so we start the program at origin thousand and uh, then for the this program uh, we define the memory address of the variable so it is likely that the address are uh, being used to control some types of uh, hardware like led seven segment display and switches as you can see, this is the switch. We set the address at E0012. And for the LED, we set the address at E0110. But for the 7 segment display, we set the address at E00 until E00E. Then we went to the initial condition. So on the initial condition, this is the value where the register is being used to control the hardware like the LED and the switch 
is being stored. Then we go to the startup subroutine. This is one of the main part of the leaf blower. This part will indicate at the seven segment display whether the speeds of the motor in level one, level two, level three, or the motor in on condition or off condition. On the startup subroutine, they will show the motor on on condition. We set seven segment, seven segment display on. We only use segment one until segment six. On segment seven and segment eight, we, it, it will indicate the on button. This because the TF we use to show O on the seven segment display and the three seven will display N on the seven segment display. Then we go to the speed one subroutine. This is where the speed one will show on the seven segment display. On this section, we only use segment two, three, four, five, six, and eight. We don't use the segment one and segment seven because we want to separate speed with one. So when the push button one is pressed, it will indicate speed one on the seven segment display. Mm -hmm. It's go same for the speed two and speed three, but it quite different for stop subroutine. This is because when switch number four, when we press the switch number four, it will display off on the seven segment display because we only use segment six until seven segment uh, se segment six, se segment seven and segment eight. And we didn't use segment one until segment five. So on the program, we set 3F to indicate O and 71 to indicate F so that when switch 4 is pressed, it will indicate off on the 7 segment display. And the final one is delay subroutine. So on delay subroutines, this program defines four subroutines as speed 0. It indicates the motor in on or off condition but the blower doesn't run and on the fast faster and the fastest condition describe the speed of the motor so these subroutines are used to control the speed of the led blinking on the hardware because we didn't have the motor to run so the faster the light blinking on the led it indicates the speed of the motor on the leaf blower and then we end our program that's all from me thank you okay thank you nizam uh i will uh assalamualaikum my name is shahe and i will continue with the hardware first we run the program then we find the hardware uh from the hardware we can see the uh First, when we run the program, the first LED will light up. This is to indicate that the hardware are running. To initialize the program, we press the zero switch and the display will show on the indicate. The simulation are ready to run. When we want for the first speed, we will change the from zero switch to first switch. The display will show speed one and the running light will operate at the lowest speed, which means the blower are at the lowest speed. Uh, for the second speed, we change the switch one to switch two. Uh, as we can see, the display shows speed two and the running light running uh, operate a bit faster. This is a medium speed. And on the last one, we change the switch second to the third one. The display indicate the third speed and the running light will operate at the fastest. Uh, to turn off the system, we press the uh, switch, third switch again to turn it off. Then we turn on the fourth switch. Uh, they display the switch off button and the light will be blinking. That's all.